how do you think we can better engage the young people? Uh, maybe you can speak from your experience and increase their active uh, participation with regards to the election. Well, I think as Ismail already mentioned, it is first of all a process of identifying problems specifically so that they can then be further addressed. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think what is most important amongst young people, which is probably not true for my peers in my fields of studies because I do study political science and many people are very aware of their opportunities in that field, um, but talking about the general youth, especially in Germany, the ones that I know, for example, from school, I would say that there's a general lack of knowledge and understanding about um, the functionings of the European Union, especially if people are not they're interested in politics themselves. It is very hard to transfer that knowledge. Like Speaking from my experience, I only started learning about this stuff in 10th grade in school, I believe, and even then it was very, very limited. It was to a very limited level and mixed with a lot of other topics in the same class that tackled political and social issues on a very broad level. And I think that is not enough to really understand European politics, to understand the functioning of the European institutions and the importance of European elections. And this goes hand in hand with this lack of trust in European politics that has been mentioned. Because essentially, if young people are not aware of how their votes and their voices contribute to the processes in the European Union, they also do tend to have to not have enough or sufficient trust in the European processes and in European politics. And therefore, I believe it's very, very important to promote political education and to invest in that field in order to promote education, to promote knowledge about politics. Because only if young people can answer the question, how does my vote contribute to the success of European politics, to discussing certain issues that are important to me, only then they will really know why it is important to vote. And furthermore, if people are not aware yet or have not been able to obtain that knowledge in school, for example, or during the process of their education, there are a lot of means today that can transfer that knowledge. For example, if you speak about media, um, specifically for young people, I believe social media is a very important tool. But even the range of those tools are limited, as for example, social media mostly provides short news flashes. It provides summaries, bulletins, but it hardly provides deeper deeper analysis or deeper, deeper reflections about politics. And therefore, I think it is important to invest in different sources of information, to provide information on many different levels in order to make it easier for young people to understand European politics. You mentioned a little bit about social media, and I want to ask you, Clara, with regards to the importance of social media to increase the interest of the youths with the political process. Um, so first of all, also being from Germany, I agree with everything that Charlotte has just mentioned. There is a lack of political education on every level. Um, and on social media, it does serve as a very useful tool. Generally, web-based applications, anything, online platforms could be a very, very useful tool to engage a lot of people. On social media, I feel there is not enough credible and in-depth information and analysis on what's happening on European politics and there's also a lot of mis and disinformation of course and you need to make sure that there is more fact finding that there are <laughs> that there are official channels to which people can access um, unbiased and credible information on what's happening in European politics and European election and this is holds also true for um, mainstream public media so television radio i we talked about this earlier that um in germany what's mostly covered in the public media is national politics european politics is not covered to that extent and not that frequently and especially the european elections are also not covered that frequently and i think if you would change that if you would give a better um yeah if you would provide more information, evidence information to young people, that would help them um, get engaged in, for example, in voting for the European elections or maybe also furthering their interests in participating in the process. I actually wanted to add on the perspective on social media because I've been I'm coming from Southeast Asia, specifically Indonesia, and I have seen how significant social media has been in terms of mobilizing 
political interests. And we can observe this in the last election of Thailand, for instance, where it was due to the youth uh, using a lot of social media platforms, mobilizing uh, young people or their peers' uh, political interests and really utilizing these platforms to engage and maintain that type of engagement. And I think this is something that we can explore further as uh, young people.